Hey guys, just wanted to give you a little bit of a pig update and show you guys how they're progressing and uh, explain to you why I only have three pigs in here. Um, the mama and that boy that was kind of messed up, he couldn't really even walk, uh, went to freezer camp or in our situation, uh, can camp. So we can a lot of our meats just because it's easier to store. You don't have to worry about refrigeration or your freezer going out or anything like that. And being off grid, it's uh, it's probably the best thing to do. So I know it's uh, not ideal for you know um, a lot of a lot of people. You know they have a hard time putting an animal down. Um, we didn't come out here to do this to just feed animals, you know. We came out here to farm, learn how to farm, and uh, she didn't produce a very good litter. And to keep going with that just would be, you know, kind of a waste of money. And uh, she'd also be really hard to transport to Vermont. These little pigs will be fairly easy. They all can go in a couple crates, you know. And um, so that's what we did. We gave her, you know, a really nice last meal. It was clean and quick and very ethical. Um, I use a 22, and they don't even know. Um, die instantly. And uh, yeah, we canned her up into about 40 cans of stew, big cans of stew that we're gonna bring with us to Vermont. So that's our plan. This is Pugsy, the Coon Coon. You can tell he's getting really big real fast. Um, one reason why I really wanted to get him in here um, is because he kept breaking breaking through our front door. He's getting really strong. He kept breaking in there and eating all the dog food. So uh, I had to come up with a solution and that you know that was part part of it that part of that was uh, putting the mom in a can in a bunch of cans because um, you know we can't it's cost of feed and all that stuff and um, it just it was the smartest thing for us and I didn't want to sell her because around here she wouldn't even sold for anything really because once she was missing her ear and she didn't give a good litter you know so it was more worth us to get the meat out of her so that's what we did but uh, we're gonna take these three with us we got the two girls and uh, the boy right here and we'll use them for breeding stock and hopefully they give us some good litters but yeah just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the pigs how they're doing what their situation is um, I know a lot of people are gonna be like oh you shouldn't have killed the pig and all that stuff but that's farming I mean we gave her a really good life. We did everything we could to make her happy and all that stuff. And um, in the end, you gotta look at them as, as food. And that's what I'm trying to teach my children, you know, so it's a hard lesson, but you know, it's better than them thinking that, you know, the food you get at the grocery store comes at no consequence it really does you know all those animals are suffering their entire life can't even move in a little tiny cage and you know yeah sure this is a small pen this is only temporary but this is way better than what they get you know at commercial farms so it is what it is but i just want to give you guys a quick update and uh i will be posting more on um you know the process of how we bought our land in the next couple couple days and then uh, the next videos you guys will be seeing are us on our way to Vermont so alright guys have a good one like and subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you on the next video